Hey Legions, it's great to see Lenovo working hard on your feedback and we've already got some new beta BIOS for you to test out. Now this fixes a few things in the notes that we got from the Reddit user who posted this first of all, thanks to Muted News. We have the video memory up to 6 gig and the ability to turn hyper-threading on or off as the main fixes. So to get this installed, head to the download link in the description below. You want to hit the download button up at the top as this is a zip file. You'll need to download the zip file and save this somewhere as the XE isn't allowed to be uploaded directly. Once you've downloaded that, extract the inner.exe file somewhere on your Legion Go. This does have to be done on the Legion Go itself. And then once you've downloaded and extracted that file, just run the file that you extracted. And this will take you through the BIOS install process. Now you will get a Windows PC warning, so make sure you hit the more info button and run anyway. And this will guide you through the rest of the process, except the other dialogues and heed the warnings. Now I am going to pause on this because you do need to make sure that you pay attention. That once you get to the final stage of this, you do want to make sure that your Legion Go is plugged in and that it's not anywhere that it's going to suddenly run out of battery. So make sure that you've saved everything and that your battery is sufficiently charged as well as you've got your power plugged in and then start the process. This will kick in fairly quickly once you hit the next button and reboot into a BIOS type screen. Once you're into the BIOS, it will take a fair amount of time, around five minutes. And in between the stages, after it's done 100% the first time, it will go completely blank and freak you out as it will stay blank and off for a good few minutes before it starts back up and then finishes the process. And then once that's all done, it will boot back up to Windows. So do allow five to 10 minutes for it to do that upgrade and try not to panic when the screen goes off for the first section. So part of this change is being able to add the VRAM buffer of six gig, which a lot of people may talk about as one of the magic settings, especially from the ROG Ally, as most people will run the six gig to give the best balance for in-game memory, as well as the virtual RAM as well. So to set this, you'll need to reboot your Legion Go into BIOS. To do this, power off the device completely, and then press and hold the power button and volume up and let go of the power button as soon as it turns on. And you should get a Novo button menu pop up instead of the usual boot sequence. Just to note that the controller doesn't work in any of these menus, so you will need to use the touch screen. Hit by setup and you'll get another screen. There's a bit of a random screen for the Legion. You want to hit the button in the bottom right to go into the actual BIOS settings menu. From here, you'll get the BIOS screen. You want to go into configuration. And then in configuration, you'll see the UMA frame buffer size down on the bottom right. Scroll into that and you'll now be able to select anywhere between the three and eight gigabytes. You'll see the six gig option is the new one there. So I've set that. And once again, you can't hit any of the F10 unless you've got a keyboard attached. So then tap exit on the left menu and then you want the top option of exit saving changes. Accept the confirmation and say yes to reboot and that will reboot your Legion Go back into Windows and you will now have the 6 gig UMA buffer set for playing around with your games. And there has been some talk on Reddit that this needs a larger page file for really making the most out of the 6 gig UMA buffer, but this step is optional because it can be auto managed and it does seem to run fairly well at that point. But if you do want to change or manually set your page size, then you need to come into the Explorer, long press on this PC and say properties. Under the system about menu, hit advanced system settings, and then in system properties, hit settings under performance, and then advanced. You'll see this virtual memory section on the bottom here, hit change, and you'll see that this is automatically set to manage for all drives. So untick that, and you're going to want to set a custom size. Under custom size, set this to 12,000 as the initial, and 17,000 as the maximum. This is 12 to 17 gig of page file size. This will act as a huge memory buffer for that VRAM. And 
remove the stutter out of most games where required. But as I said, this is optional. You can leave it as system managed. Once you've set this, make sure you hit the set button and hit OK. And then this will require another reboot. So once you exit this menu, let it reboot. And you will now have a larger page file size as well as the VRAM to play with. One of the other changes that this has specified as the BIOS changes is for the ability to turn hyper threading and core off. We're going to do some performance comparisons on this very soon to see how much of a difference that it does make. Hyper threading is supposed to increase the frames per second in a lot of games that don't require random access memory so much and is more optimized or single cores. So we'll do some performance testing and we'll upload a separate video on that coming soon. But for now, that's how you get the beta BIOS installed and do all the other tweaks. Let us know in the comments below if you've noticed much difference after these changes. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.